What a Jordanathan, and welcome to my channel. So today we are hitting the gym. We are at my work gym, actually. So we are gonna go through a chicken leg workout because I need to work on my legs more. Um, I hate legs, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm the only girl that ever says that, but I just, I don't want to. <laughs> but we are gonna do that today. If you're more into makeup, no worries. Just click out of this video. Don't worry, my makeup's, my makeup's, my makeup stuff will be back. Uh, but I think beauty kind of starts on the outside. I know it's you're supposed to say inside, but when I, my body looks good, I feel good. I love to work out with others, inspire others, all that stuff. So if you like these types of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, uh, and let's go ahead and get into this workout. All right, so we're gonna get started on leg press first. I'm gonna do the first set nice and light. And then we are going to add some weight. So, ee, I hate starting on these because they always end up exhausting me, but they're, I'd rather do something heavy towards the front when I'm not so tired than try to do it at the end and not be able to lift as much. So, that is what we're gonna do. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna start with leg press. You're gonna put those legs out as far as you can with toes pointed out just slightly. So this is more of a sumo stance, so this is gonna hit your inner thigh a little bit more. And then I'm gonna superset that with close together to work that outer thigh. I'm trying to build my overall legs, not just one area. So it all depends on what you wanna target, but I like to do both. So bringing it down as far as you can, making sure you're breathing, exhale while you push up, and then also pay attention to your knee position. If your knees start caving in on that wide part, then make sure you're pushing them apart as you come down. I'm gonna do about three sets of 10 four sets total, so of each. Make sure that you're holding onto the handles. I'm pretty short, I have like T-Rex arms apparently because I can't reach the handles on this machine, which is why my hands are on my legs, but if I could reach the handles, I would be holding them. Okay, so like Nacho Libre says, you're gonna squeeze. Make sure at the end of every movement, as far as legs go, where you can squeeze, you are squeezing those glutes. I know it's not pretty, it never is, believe me. It's even hard for me to like want to post that part of it, because I'm just like, Ugh. But that is what makes the biggest difference in glutes in general, is making sure you're engaging them. So who cares what your butt looks like during the movement? It's more important about what it looks like after, you know? So I'm here to encourage the ugly butt squeeze. Just get it done. Okay, so next we're gonna do a superset, so back to back. I'm gonna show you guys this one real quick. You're gonna grab a nice thick band and you can attach it to anything, a squat machine, a Smith machine. This just helps me get my glutes a little bit more. So you're gonna squat down and then really make sure you're pushing forward into that band to squeeze your glutes. So like a two second squeeze as hard as you can going up, but still make sure you're squatting back each time. And same thing, we're gonna do about three of 10 of each exercise. The heavier ones, I usually try to do four of 10 if I can push it. And then once I drop the weight, I'm gonna do an extra 10 with just the band, really focusing on that squeeze. Just be careful when you get out of the band because believe me, I have fallen and it was not my best day. So we're supersetting those. So every set that you do of the squats, you're gonna superset with a set of deadlifts. So same exact thing, really pushing those hips forward, making sure you're getting that nice glute squeeze in. And again, three sets of 10 of each. And then if you can drop the weight and just do glute thrusts for 10. And also make sure you're really keeping that back flat as you're coming down for these deadlifts. My chin comes down with me. My neck isn't in a bad position. So next we're gonna go into a lunge on the Smith machine and then a lunge bringing that knee to your chest. So one lunge and then knee to chest. You can see my glute squeezing over. Make sure you really focus on that squeeze. 
you're dropping that knee straight down to the floor and then bringing it up. These look pretty easy, but the, they end up really killing me. So I'm going to do about six to seven on each side and then just alternate. So luckily I brought another shirt. Um, I brought, I like bought these tank tops from Amazon. Thank God I only bought one so far. I was going to order like three more because they're super nice and comfortable. But uh, it like sweat yellow. Like, what is that? I don't have self tanner or anything else on. So I'm like, what, what is this? Like, it's driving me crazy. It just makes me feel dirty. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, so after my wardrobe malfunction, we are going to get started again. Same exact thing. For the last two sets, I am going to do some sumo pulse squats at the end. Okay, so make sure you're going nice and wide here. My toes are slightly pointed out. I'm never coming completely up. I'm just pulsing down and back. Make sure you're going really nice and slow to really feel this. I'm gonna do about an extra 10 to 15 reps depending on what I can push myself to do. All right, so one of the final ones. We are almost done here, guys. We are gonna do some jumps. If you're not comfortable on this high of a surface, then pick a smaller one. You can literally just build a step box from the floor. So whatever you can do is totally fine. I'm gonna bring those toes in, make sure I'm pressing as hard as I can. Make sure you're landing through your heels and not your toes. And really, you're just gonna do as many reps as you can in one. I usually do about, about six to seven, and then I'm going to do another set of pulse squats. I know it's a lot of squats, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So about 10 reps of pull squats back to back. So I was wondering how, I feel like I always see girls that work out, like that have their hair down at the gym and I'm just like, how are you doing this? Like I get so hot and sweaty, you guys can just like, like I'm soaked right now and I'm just like my hair, I could shave this off right now. Like, I'm so annoyed. And I just went from like being okay cute to like, I don't know what's going on with her, but that's okay because we're at the gym. <laughs> but I don't know, random rambles. We'll, we're almost done. All right, last exercise. We're gonna do glute pull throughs. So pick a nice heavy weight. I stumble a little bit when I do these, but that's okay. Make sure you're really focusing on that glute squeeze. I'm gonna do about a two to three second squeeze on each rep. Make sure you're coming back, bending those knees and really pulling through and keeping your back flat as you do those. And I also try to do about 15 reps for glute specific exercises. So about three to four sets of 15. All right, I'm a hot mess now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. I hope you found it somewhat useful. Always let me know what you guys wanna see. If it's more beginner stuff, more advanced, it's kind of hard with YouTube to know, you know, what you guys want to see from me. So nice and sweaty. It's a good workout for me. I hope it works for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you like workout videos, because I do, and I'd love to continue to do them. But if no one's gonna watch, I ain't gonna do it. So I'm gonna go shower now, because I need to. And I'll see you guys in the next video.